two of them. They need one still left. Catley crosses in, and that's gone in Steph Catley. Nelson Captain has the opening goal in the grand final. Congratulations to the Western World W League 2020 champions, Melbourne City. Yeah, one of the lucky competitions to get through to the silverware stage and Melbourne City's deserved winners in the W League. And we're joined by one of the champions, uh, Matilda and Olympian, Kaya Simon. Uh, hello and welcome and congratulations. Kaya. Hey guys, thanks for having me. I wish it was in uh, better circumstances, but um, yeah, super happy with that result on the weekend. Yeah. Uh, and all about the timing, you got it done before the entire lockdown. Where are you as we speak? Right now, I'm still in Melbourne, so um, I've decided to stay put rather than heading back to New South Wales to be with family. So I think just for now, it's best to stay put um, and wait for further instructions. But, um, yeah, definitely um, still, I guess, in high spirits from the game on the weekend in a really difficult and weird situation right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll get back to that in a moment. But I've got to go back. A, it feels like a couple of years ago now, but it's only a couple of weeks. You were meant to go to Wuhan to play against China in Olympic qualifier. Um, can you put into words what it was like back then and if you guys ever imagine, with the information that you were getting, what all of this could become? No, never in a million years, to be honest. Um, for us to be sitting there in camp um, in Sydney and um, only a few days away from getting on our flight to head to Wuhan for our first leg of our Olympic qualifiers and uh, for this to blow up then on a, on a much smaller scale than what it is now, we're in disbelief then and then a little bit of limbo and um, you know thankfully um, thanks to the FFA and, and obviously uh, supportive staff who um, worked tirelessly um, to change that to Sydney um, we did dodge a bullet from from heading over there to Wuhan but um, you, you know this whole fiasco is just really blown out of proportion from what it was you know only a month ago to what it is now is is quite um, incredible and, and just something that is, yeah, I mean, I'm still in a bit of disbelief about. And Kaya, when that uh, tournament was played here in Sydney, you actually, put, the Australian team, the Matildas, played against the Chinese team. Were, were, were there any tests conducted from you players after the game? Um, for us, no. Um, no one showed any symptoms or, or we didn't have um, too much contact other than obviously playing them. Um, I know that I, under my understanding that a few of those players did get tested um, and, and nothing came back. So, um, yeah, for, for us, we were still able to stay fit and healthy, obviously finish the second leg and, and qualify for the Olympics. So, you know, I'm obviously stoked that we did qualify for the Olympics. We were able to get through it with no one, you know, everyone was kind of unscathed. But, um, yeah, it doesn't, I guess, ignore what else is happening around the world right now. And, of course, the Olympics, as we know now, have been put off. We don't know for how long, but certainly into uh, next year. How does that make you feel? You've, uh, you missed a World Cup. There was injuries involved with that. Uh, in terms of your preparation, how does it affect it all? Yeah, look, I think for us, just having a bit of clarity that, yeah, it is postponed and, and probably until next year, um, I think as athletes just gives us a bit of clarity that we continue our preparations as normal as we possibly can um, in this weird period. So um, for me, obviously, and a lot of other players who aren't playing football right now, we need to be accountable and, and responsible for our own personal individual training and hoping that um, you know, the games still go ahead next year and we can prepare it. It's just a, a lengthier preparation, but um, still knowing that I think that the games are going ahead still gives us a bit of positivity and clarity around that situation. Kyra, it's Michael Ernest. Congratulations on, on your success this year. A former teammate of mine has apparently reached out to you, so when you do come out of your isolation there and staying in Melbourne and come back, that there may be a statue, or they're hoping there'll be a statue of you in Quakers Hill. <laughs> Andrew from Peter said there should be there should be a statue of Kaya in Quakers Hill. <laughs> yeah, a Andrew's a big brother to me, pretty much, so um, he calls me little sis. So we're both um, <laughs> Quakers Hill born and bred, and he did put that forward, so I'm waiting for him to follow it up with the uh, local Blacktown Council. They should pay for it with his cash. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we've talked about, you've had injury run, obviously, but ha how's the body holding up? Yeah, really good. I mean, you know, it's it's so funny because it's 
two ends of the spectrum. I'm in probably the best shape that I've been in in years and, and loving my football, enjoying my football, but with the crisis that's going on at the moment really makes it hard to be um, completely ecstatic with how I'm feeling and obviously my football as well. But um, body's going well. I'm hoping that I don't lose too much of the momentum or conditioning and fitness in this, in this bit of limbo period. But, um, yeah, just... Really, um, I guess, stoked with how the season's gone, capping it off with the championship on the weekend with Melbourne City. And, um, yeah, can't wait for the next football match, whenever that might be. And just on that, uh, that success, I mean, it's, it's hard to celebrate. I mean, Scott Morrison came on the television on Sunday night and basically got everyone into trouble and sounded like we're all grounded for, for going out on the weekend. <laughs> but you guys behave... The, the club put on a, a bit of a bar tab in a private area, but you didn't go out. You just all went home and were socially responsible. Yeah, it was a bit of a weird one, to be honest, because usually that's probably the biggest night uh, of the year to celebrate, but um, it was pretty tame. We went back to a private function. Um, you know, a few players were awarded, um, you know, player of the year and, and coaches player in bits and pieces, but, um, yeah, it was a pretty early night, so we're all in bed quite early, and, um, yeah, I mean, that's, um, that's as much as the partying went on, really. Well, Kai, congratulations, and also congratulations on the wonderful framing you've done there with the pot. Can you send another thing some this morning? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well done. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully, we'll see no you in the studio next time. Take care, guys. Yeah, she's the great Kai Simon.